What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of Mgo Build Stuff. Kinda, sorta, not really, but uh, we're gonna call it that. But what we're gonna do today is uh, this little guy right here. This is the uh, Star Trek The Next Generation light and sound tricorder. It's a mini tricorder, as you can see by the box. It's a little baby tricorder, but it's cool. And I like it, and I found it on eBay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sticker it up. It's just stickering it, but still pretty cool. It's the deluxe mega kit. Star Trek Next Generation tricorder, tricorder, things, and stuff, stuff, and things. 2300 Chestnut Street. I know where that is. <laughs> That's down in Center City, but yeah, this apparently was uh, made here in the city. So cool, very cool. So without further ado, let's get down to it. Because as always, ain't nothing to it but to do it. So here's a little tricorder. It's a little baby one. Ain't hey, little baby tricorder. Near only little baby tricorder. And she got a little bag. You have to rip open. There we go. Little baby tricorder. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, it makes the clicks and everything. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Very nice. Speaker right there. Battery compartment. There are batteries already in it. Just pull out the little tab. We'll do that later. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a nice. Has a nice feel to it. It's kind of. It's kind of closes itself. Ah, I like that. I like it. I like it. Okay, so we have uh, stickers. More stickers in here. More stickers. And what is this? Oh, this is, uh, okay, this is telling us where all the stickers go. So these are instrucciones. Ay, que instrucciones. Ay. And you get a little booklet, a, a full color booklet. It says right here somewhere, 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 somewhere. It says a little booklet, but anyway, you can see on the back of the box, a little, little rundown there of what the tricorder is and all that good stuff. But yes, you get a little booklet here. With nice pictures, all that stuff. The Enterprise D, original crew, next generation crew, the bridge. Me and Lori actually got to sit on this bridge uh, when the Franklin Institute did the uh, Star Trek uh, exhibit. They had a replica of the bridge, and we sat. We got to sit on the bridge of the Enterprise. That was the coolest thing ever. Uh, here's the original tricorder from the original series. When it was like a purse. <laughs> All the other cats and gizmos. Alright. Very cool. Riker. Just because. Riker. This information on the tricorder. The Enterprise D. No, this is just... Uh, Information on the tricorder itself, dashboard functions, Dr. Crusher, and the tricorder itself. Just a very detailed look at it. Device input, bloody bloody, bloody bloody, bloody bloody, lots of bloody bloodies here. It's the medical tricorder, I believe. Wesley Crusher, the Crushers of Wesley. There you go. Written by Chip Carter. Designed by Josh McDonald. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for this little book. I will keep this little book, actually. I will keep this little book because I like little books full of nice, cool information. But, okay, let's get down to the main event here and uh, sticker up our, uh, our, little, our little baby tricorder. And she, you know, baby, you can see it's not a full-size tricorder. It's a little tiny mini one, but still cool. I did... um. Back in the day, I did have the... Uh, what company made it? I think it was Playmates made the next generation toys back in the day. I did have that tricorder. And it did... I believe it made sounds and lit up as well. I think, anyway. I'm no, I don't remember. But I did have that tricorder. But that has not survived. <laughs> I don't know where that is. I think I just got rid of it. But, um... Yeah. Very cool. Alright, so what are we doing here? So we're going to start off with the... Top here. So that is okay. So the very top gets sticker number one. Luckily, I have my sticker applying tweezers here, as always. I always have my sticker applying tweezers. Always have those ready. Always have those handy. 
And that looks like it goes right here, like so. Boop. There we go. You can see it does have the little piece you pull out to scan, but it's just molded in, it doesn't come out. There we go. Then number two is just a dark gray strip. I did watch a video on this. There is a, a little review on this on YouTube. I did watch it before I did this because I wanted to make sure I knew where everything was going. And this is kind of the build before the build, you know. Um, I'm going to be putting together the, uh, the Enterprise D and oh, I think it goes this way. I was about to put this on the wrong way. I am going to start building the Enterprise D this week. So this is kind of the build before the build. Star Trek build before the Star Trek build. Before the major Star Trek build. Start building the Enterprise. That's going to be fun. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait for that. There we go. Okay. So that's the top. Looks all scientific now. Looks all future now. Yay. Yay. Okay. So now we can open this up. And now we have to put on... Number three, which is just the main screen sticker here, and this has a lot of things that are just kind of like punched out because that's let these little lights through. So let's try to do this. Let's see how we do this. So that, so this should all stay behind. This is where I wish I had three hands, but it's okay. And this needs to stay behind, that needs to stay behind. And hopefully these are cut well. Okay. That doesn't seem to be cut too well. That one's cut pretty well. I'm trying my best here. And there are also little ones. Oh man, there's a lot of these. There's a lot of these little cutouts. Even these have little cutouts in them. Oh man. Oh, and here too. And here too. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> This is going to be the hardest sticker, just to make sure that all these, all these cutouts stay behind and I don't tear the main sticker itself. That is the goal. Okay. That's the goal. Can we do it? Can we do it? I think we can. I think we can. But this is definitely a... Uh... That was not cut very well. You you stay here. And that okay. Okay. Again. Let's pull it out. Oops, okay. Well hey. You know what? You can hang out right there. And this one didn't seem like it was cut out very well. Okay. Trying to be as gentle as possible because again, I'm trying not to actually rip the sticker. It's the, you know the sticker I need. Just trying to rip out what I don't need. Come on, this is on there. Like it's really on there. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we. Go. Important before peeling off stuff with sticker. <laughs> Carefully removing the scar to turn inner cutouts. No duh. No really. Oh, there's still one more. Actually, there's still one more here. I didn't do. There's a little one right here. You don't want need a baby one right there. There we go. That one popped out easy. Okay. I think I got everything. You stay there. I said you stay there. I said you stay there. Thank you. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, I think I got it all. <laughs> okay, that was the hardest one to do. And now this is going to be even harder because we're kind of going up at an angle here. So I guess I should probably start at the bottom and work my way up. And pray that everything lines up as it should. And oops, what happened? Oh. What? Oh, God. Oh, God, stickers. Why do stickers have to be so sticky? I know why. It's just... How did this get here? How did this get here? I didn't want this. I didn't want you here. 
Oh man. It's a sticker stuck to a sticker. This is my worst nightmare. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh god. Come on. There you go. Okay. I used to there. I don't know how you tagged along in the first place. Obviously that was probably my mistake, but okay. Okay, now everything is right with the world. Now let's try to do this. Okay. So again, we're gonna try to line all this up. And that should be pretty much perfect right there. Yes. Yes. These are some really sticky stickers, by the way. Very sticky. Make sure it just follows that curve. And there we go. Woo! Okay. That one was a bit tense. That one was a bit tense. Woo! There you go. Ha ha! Nice. Nice noise. Okay. That was a tense one, but hey. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray. Okay. Okay, fine. Stay like that. Okay, so we're done with that. Now we're here. So number four is just this big one. That just goes right across here. Best we can. Oh, okay, we're committed. There we go. <laughs> Once you let the sticker go, you're just committed. You're just committed. Oh, well, Sandra Butts about it. There you go. Okay, number five. We're just going right down the sticker sheet here. I like this. I like the way these stickers are laid out too. It's very, uh, just very convenient. They pretty much have it laid out the way it's going to be laid out on the tricorder itself. So I like that. Just no fuss, no muss, just straight to the point. And that's the way I like it. That is the way I like it. Look at that. That's nice. That's a nice thing right there. All right, so number six. Little red ID. And whoop, there we go. Get that on there. Get it, get it. Get on there. Boom. Okay. And the very last sticker. Tells you what it is in case you already forgot. TR560 Tricorder. Six Starfleet R&D San Francisco. There you go. These were made in San Francisco. Who knew that? Who, who, who knew that this scientific stuff was made in San Francisco? And there we go. We got all the uh, all the stickers on. Cool. We don't need that anymore. We don't need this anymore. That can go. I can get out of my life forever. There you go. We got our tricorder all stickered up. Look at that. That looks nice. Very nice. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so let's pull this out. I don't even know if this is still gonna work. I don't know how I don't know how old this thing is. So let's see if the batteries even still work. Let's see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is cool! That is cool! So the lights are blinking. That is cool. <laughs> it just turns off after a while. That is cool. I dig that. I really dig that. That is so freaking cool. <laughs> so lights lit up in there. It's blinking. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool. That is really cool. Love that. Love that. Oh, here we go. 2017. At least that's the copyright date 
on the uh, tricorder itself, 2017. Okay, so about three years old. Well, not three years old, no. Four years old, it's 2021, four years old. But, um, yeah. That's cool, that is really cool. And even does little clicks like it does on the shows. <laughs> you know, it's a little baby tricorder, but it still fits comfortably in the hand. It doesn't really feel like it's a mini one. I mean, it's still, you know, that works so well. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is really cool. I love that. And when you close it, it stops the noises. That is cool. That is so cool. I love this little thing. I love it. I love it so much. Ah, <laughs> that's great. That is great. That is so cool. I love that. There you go. Oh. Oh. I'm getting a reading. I'm getting a reading. There is no intelligent life on this planet. There you go. That is really cool. I know I'm just sitting here just gushing over this thing now, but it's really cool. This is really cool. It's a little mini tricorder. It makes all the noises. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. And you know what? I think I'm gonna keep this little box too. I like the box. I like the box. I like the tricorder. Can I stand it up against the box? No. Can we, can we, can we back to back it or something? Can we do this? No. Can we do, can I, can I stand it up somewhere? I'm just, I need a stand of some kind for this thing. Can we, okay, fine. You know what? Just stand it like that. There you go. But that's really cool. I love this thing. Really cool. Little baby tricorder. That's awesome. All right, well, we're done. <laughs> I'm gonna stop gushing. Uh, but yeah, really cool. That was fun. I dig it, I dig it. I very much dig it. So there we go, we have the precursor. This is the build before the build of the Enterprise D. This was fun. I know building the Enterprise will be just as fun. But yeah, we got a little informational booklet and everything. Nice little package here. Nice little package of fun. Yes, it is. Nice. That's a weird sentence, but it's true. It's a nice little package of fun. <laughs> fun. Now, I found this on eBay. In case anybody's uh, wondering, um, I came across it on eBay and picked it up. Um, I don't know where else you could look for stuff like this. Maybe like Entertainment Earth or some, you know, some other place. Maybe check BBTS. I don't know. Or maybe check, uh, what's the site? Here we go. Running. Maybe check runningpress.com. See if they're still selling them. I don't know. Star Trek.com. I don't know. You can look around, see if you can find it. Again, I found mine on eBay, so you might have the best luck just looking on eBay for it. It was only about uh, $15 shipped, so not expensive. And yeah, fun little, uh, fun little piece to add to the collection. So there you go. So um, you can check out the Star Trek playlist, which is beginning with this video. And uh, I'll be doing some other Star Trek reviews in the future. So stay tuned for that. And there'll be a link to that playlist in the description down below, as always, for you to check out. You can also get Star Trek stuff from BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below. So you can check that out as well. And uh, that is it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, live long and prosper, and palm in your face.